th th there's a feeling that the current state of affairs in the country in terms of the hardship, mm -hmm. the poor state of the economy, the hunger, and the um, general despair in the land is going to spell doom for your party in the Edo State governorship election because a hungry man is an angry man. And when a man is angry, he can express himself in the way he likes. Mm. An election presents an opportunity for such expressions to be made. What are your thoughts? And against the background that in the Edo State governorship election, I'm not sure we have one single female governorship candidate. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, let me start uh, with the, your last uh, uh, comment. Uh, we don't have uh, a female governorship candidate. Uh, we had, uh, I think, two or three there about that aspired uh, during the time of primaries. And uh, um, I think there were two or three of them there about. Okay. And then, uh, unfortunately, they did step down as well. Um, Edo State is still, we are still... Uh, um, working very hard to ensure that we push our women, to ensure that we carry uh, the women along with regards to uh, um, uh, governorship candidates and, 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 and deputy. Uh, I must say, before I jump into a do state, I must uh, say that even in this present administration of His Excellency Bola Metinubu, that is where we began to see uh, women, female deputy governors. I think in, in the country now we have about uh, a four three or four there about female deputy governors. And that is something to, to be proud of, uh, regardless if it was in Edo State or whichever state, but the point is that it's happening. And uh, as, as long as it has started, it, it might be a way so that we, we begin to get our female deputy governors or why not female uh, uh, governors. Oh. So, but again, coming back to Edo State. Um, yes, of course, September 2024 is at hand. And yes, of course, we, as uh, my party, uh, the APC, we, it's just one thing that we want, and that is to get to Osadebe Avenue uh, to ensure that uh, we take over um, government in, in, in this year, 2024. I want to cast your mind back to the, the, the election uh, four years ago. We, as, as politicians, uh, were shouting on top of our voice to let Edo people know that this, uh, the, this government, the, 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 that was the, four, the government of the four years before the Prow one, was a disaster. We shouted it was a disaster, but there were a lot of promises that were made, a lot of promises made, and they failed, and now they are off. The, all the promises that were made, none of them have been accomplished as far as I'm concerned. And I will give you an example. If you are in a state where... Uh, there is no infrastructure, Mr. Okosun. The schools, uh, you need to go online and see schools where our children are attending. We don't have health care services. Now, let me tell you, there was a research that was done just, I think, uh, a few months ago from the uh, university teaching hospital in Edo State here. That's a university teaching hospital where there was a research about uh, uh, um, the, the rate of women that dies when they, when they, they give birth. And, and then we had about 3,000 something there about women that participate in this research. And in, and in that 3,000, I think 800 and something women, we still have up to more than 100 women dying just because they went to the hospital to go and, and give birth. That is 800 or one more than 100 families that have been put at risk, 100 children that have lost their mother, 100, 100 children that do not have siblings. Now, we must begin to look at these things critically. In a place where we, have, we are now in 2024, and we are still talking about what was eradicated in Europe, in developing countries in the 60s, then something is fundamentally wrong. So if you say there are no infrastructures, yes. uh, how, how correct is this uh, perspective? Have you driven past supply roads and um, look at some of the rebuilding and remodeling of the civil servants? Have you gone to but the... What, what do you mean by civil, um, the civil service? Just, just, just one second. Yeah, Mr. Okusu, Yegu, civil, uh, serv academic. civil services, yes. the, the civil servants, they are 2%. Are 
are you aware that the civil servants are two percent of the population of this of so this, they shouldn't be made comfortable no, no, no. in doing their How jobs can you, what do you mean two percent out of a hundred percent and you are telling me about infrastructures you are not building you are you're you are telling me about the paint that you have used to paint some houses for two percent of the people what happened to the 98 percent of the other people so you want to tell me that it's okay to take care of two percent of the population and leave 98 percent and that and you want to call that a pass mark that is that is gross that is gross failure that is i mean it's worse than f9 if, if you get two percent out of a hundred percent so if we have before the well, in the beginning of of this uh, i think four years ago his excellency the governor of, of this state promised to build a kiosa market uselu market Alba market and i think santana market now these four markets just go there. As I'm speaking to you now, you can send somebody there and tell me if it has been rebuilt because that was four years ago. Now, that is where we have population. More than 50% of Nigerians. They are in those markets, markets that I just named. So if you leave those ones and you are doing 2% to do, how, how, are you, how are you even rationalizing that? So this so, women, so the roads are, I mean, be no, passed, no, no, yes. Not, don't get me started. No, no, I'm roads. getting you started no, on the roads. No, the roads are, these are These are tangible, feelable no, 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 things no, no, that no, you no, and roads, I can see. I don't, I don't know where, how you drive, where are you driving from, Mr. Yeah. Post? Because when I was driving to your studio this morning, I, I, saw some, I saw roads that were not well kept. I saw roads, now, let, let's go back, let's go back. Let's, let's, I, I, when I speak, I speak fact. I, I like, because I'm an academician, I like to speak facts. I was born in this state. I grew up in the 80s, and I met Ring Road in the 80s. Now, this is the year 2024. There's been thousands of cars. There's been thousands of, of, of so many things on the road. And we are still in the same Ring Road. Ring Road, Mission Road, the heart of Benin City. The way it was in 1981, I can tell you that's exactly what it is today. How many flyovers have you seen in Edo State, in Benin City? Because if there is, you point me to that place and I will drive right from here to go and see it. Now, in a place where we don't have development and you expect the 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 the, um, uh, the the country or the state to stand still from 1980. In the 80s, there were not a lot a lot of cars. Of course, you know. In the 80s, there were not a lot of cars, and then Ring Road was manageable. But try Ring Road now at the rush hour. And some say your party mm. doesn't even have a better alternative against the background of some of the reality, visible realities that people have been talking no, about no, on social media, in on terms of capacity, no, no, no. in terms of mental capacity and all of that to drive governance and development. Oh, on the contrary, Mr. Mr. Kosun, what Edo people fell for last time was the speaking of English. Of course, we are going to do it. All the MOU that we signed, and, that, and then the, the people stood on the podium and said, of course, we are going to do this. And then everybody was shouting, what, 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 talk back. And at the end of the day, we are at the end of four years, and well, we are in a disaster because a do, as far as I'm concerned, and again, we have the majority of the people at middle class. Do you know how much it is to fly from here to Lagos or from here to Abuja? Mr. Koson, it is 170,000. Whose fault is One that? way. Whose no, fault no, no, is that? No, no, Whose no, fault is no, that? It's, it's the fault of the government. It's the fault of, of, of the government. How do, okay, no, how no, do no, you no, even no. say that? It's, it's the fault of the government. Because the announcement state. of fuel subsidy removal led to an inflation in the prices of this items and these commodities we're talking about, Mr. particularly Koso, flight no, tickets. No, no, Mr. Koso, let me enlighten you. If I have, and if you're going to take now, flight ticket is 170. Yes. For the rich and the famous, probably. But if you want to travel from here to Abuja, yes. it's 25,000 Naira. Okay. Again, how many middle class can afford 25,000 Naira one way traveling to Abuja? What is and responsible that, for that increase? No, 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 What's responsible for the increase in flight ticket? What's responsible? No, no, I don't think it's for a subsidy, you see. What's the responsible? The roads are bad. Have you been on the road, Mr. Okoso? From here to Abuja, you are on that road for mo nothing less than Which road are you talking hours. about? Federal roads? I'm talking about, um, yes, of course. Federal okay, roads, not state roads. No, no, let's get back to the federal road. I just talked about the 18 billion yes. that came from the federal government. For the refurbishment of this federal road, Mr. Okoson, 
Now, where's that money? The, the refurbishment, no, 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 was no, no, it, no, no, was no. it that they, no, no. You, because there was something you said that the government of Adam Sushumole did. fixed these roads. Yes. And the money was plowed back to the state. And then I asked the question, if these roads were fixed, as you claimed, by the government of Adam Ali Oshimole, mm -hmm. I mean, the roads wouldn't have been so bad. We're talking that, about, yeah, oh, that, come that, on, that would, come they, on. They wouldn't be so bad that we we're, cannot even ply them at the we moment. We are talking about eight years ago. We are talking about... Yeah, you, you, may not really, you may not really, no, 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 you may not really appreciate the state of this road because you hardly go by road. Oh, no, you no, always no, fly. No, 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 no. I mean, no, you no, came no, from Abuja. You didn't drive by road. You flew. Yeah. my team, let me tell you, if the roads were motorable, Yes. If the roads were okay, everybody will be on the road. Mm. Because the roads are bad. Even my mother, that is 80-something years old, she, she, she hates to fly because she's so scared and every other thing, but she wants to be on the road. But before she gets from one place to another, her bones are aching. Have you seen the potholes? It's like you have, you've come to another uh, a generation of, of, of I don't know when. You know, when you're, one of the interesting things I was thinking about just a few days ago, uh, if you're coming into Edo State, the, 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 the pilot will tell you, oh, welcome to the ancient city of Benin. I'm sure you've heard them say that mm -hmm. and say, well, we are landing at those Benin city. Welcome to the ancient city of Benin. That's a beautiful thing. But again, my, my mind just, I, I just keep thinking, what does it mean by ancient city? Okay, our schools are ancient, of course. Our hospitals, they are ancient. Our roads are ancient. The, everything, the houses are ancient. Is that why we are, we are called ancient city? Because that is not a good reflection of my state. Now, you are talking about the fact that we should be taking the road. To where? Just from one uh, uh, small village to another small village, two hours. If the roads were good, Mr. Okoson, from here, driving from here to Lagos, you know it, it, it can't be more than three hours if the roads were good. You know that. But the roads are not good. Now, don't get me started on security. We have a governor of this state that gets money on security every month. What is being done? I've talked about transparency, Mr. Okoson. We have to be transparent. Because if you go online to say, this is what you are using your security uh, money to do, people will say, okay, yes, we're, we're supporting you, but we don't have a clue. We don't have an Comparatively, idea. Comparatively, the yes. FCT and Edo State, FCT is less secured compared to Edo State. You live in the FCT. There have been stories of constant attacks by bandits, kidnappers and all of that in the federal capital territory, mm. the seat of power. Mm. I mean, that doesn't tell something. I mean, it tells something about lack of capacity to deal with the insecurity problems I will, I in, will in argue, this country. I will argue yes. with you. I will, I, will, I will disagree with you that F City is not, it's, 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 uh, it's not, it's safe, it's not safer than Edo State. In Edo State, Mr. Koso, I don't know where, do you live in this city at all? By 5 p.m., we are all already driving home to make sure that our, we are inside our bedrooms our doors are locked. The gate is locked. No, those who, those no, 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 who no, no. those who have outings in the night don't don't they don't. Okay, if if you say let, that's the case, because, tell me why we have a lot of clubs, bars, lounges, hangout joints in Benin City within the GR and and, and everywhere. And if this Kossu, business, if the me, environment is not me, conducive, why is, would you have that? Tell me who are in the clubs, the joint, and everything. Are they not the youths? Do you see the woman that's supposed to be in the market? That is that is okay. For example, the way it affects economy. This, this thing is a chain. Now, look at the common woman that sells at pick any of the market, a Kielsa market. By five, she's already thinking of how to get herself into her house because this is a mother of children. She doesn't want to leave them motherless. So because there is no security, there is no electricity, there, is no good, there are no good roads, the madam is hurrying to her house by five. So which means what she's supposed to sell well, she's, she's, she's done for the day. And then she goes back home to start whatever she's doing at home. But all these things affect the economy of the state, Mr. Okoson, because these infrastructures are not there. If you have, and sometimes we, we get to reality, and I thank God for, for our, our, our women in politics because we get a lot of feedbacks from the grassroots. And these women, if they don't feel safe, I can hear the voice of my mother at 7 o'clock. If you don't lock that gate, you are outside. In fact, you will sleep outside because as far as she's concerned, that gate needs to be locked because she's not safe, da, 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 and so many other things. So if we are living in a state where we don't even know where the money for security is going, we don't know where the money that is being brought from the federal government is going, we don't know what this money are being used for, Mr. Okoso, then we have come, we are, we are, we are, we are starting 
from afresh. As far as I'm concerned, the APC as a party, Edo 2024, we must take over power. And then let me break, take your mind back. So how, do you take over, how do you take over no, power no, when you we, don't we, have the capacity? No, no, we do have the capacity. Oh, my God. How can you say we don't have the capacity, Mr. Okoso? We have the capacity. Better than what is seated here. What we have in Edo State now, do you call that capacity? How many secondary schools have been built in the past eight years? But they're How saying, many primary they're, they're schools? Saying, I'm not talking about private schools, no, Mr. They're, they're saying your, your candidate is not articulate. They're saying your candidate can't read or write. They're saying your candidate lacks that mental capacity to govern at the level of the state. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, you want, you want but, to... But if people mm. go turn around, this is just political gimmicks. Somebody turn around and say, uh, Senator Monde Okwebolo cannot read and write. And yet it's a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Who says that? The fact that maybe if it's not, uh, uh, it's not wanting, it's not speaking in a way that you understand and can join the people of Edo State like the present governor did, that doesn't mean he, he can't read and write. He is a sitting senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. While his, um, 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 his deputy, uh, uh, um, the, the House of Rep member, uh, his, ex, uh, his House of Rep member, Denko, uh, is a sitting House of Rep in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You are saying they can't read and write. Who says that? How can you not read and write and you are sitting in, in, as a senator? So what do you do when you get there? Sleep? What do you do with all the policies and procedures that's been flashed on your face? What do they do? Do you think they have interpreter written for them there? So these are just political, whatever it is you want to call it. As far as I'm concerned, we have our candidate, Senator Monde Okwebolo, and we have the deputy, uh, um, uh, Right Honorable Dennis Idaosa. These two individuals will turn Edo State around. We are tired of getting, uh, 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 if you look at the, uh, the, the other party, we have, we have their candidate at 62 years and 65 years. Is Osadebe Avenue a retirement home? I don't understand. That is not a retirement home. People at 60-something and 60-whatever, they should go home quietly to their grandchildren and, and play a grandfather. This is, it's not in Osadebe Avenue you come and be doing try and error. So we want people that are young enough, that understand the youth, understand our mothers, understand what, when we say we want infrastructure for a state. Edo State is gradually getting to where the social science is called a failed state. A state that cannot provide adequate education, health care, for his citizen, you can, you can literally call that a failed state. Do you have the statistics to back this? Or, yes, or I have the statistics because I just asked you. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mr. Koso, I asked you, how many secondary schools have been built in the past eight years? I'm talking about government secondary schools. Where, meanwhile, we have statistics of increased population. Women, are, the population is increasing. We have children coming in and coming out. So how many public schools have we built for secondary school? How many public schools have we built for primary school? What happened to our college of education? Children are struggling to get into universities. I'm talking about they are struggling to get into the federal universities. Okay. Because we all know that the, 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 the private universities are very expensive. What happened to our college of education, Mr. Okosun? So in order for us to, to get this right, I can categorically say that the only government that can get it right in Edo 2024 is the APC. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it uh, at that today. I want to thank say big you. thanks to you for coming thank on the program. Uh, as is always the case, the electorates have a final say, and they're already being conscientized, educated, empowered, energized, brought into that level of awareness where they can actually take their destinies in their hands, make their choice out of the lots that is available out there. We have a responsibility to put these issues in proper perspectives in terms of bringing forth the uh, profiles of the candidates gunning for a do state governorship election 2024. But you have a responsibility to make the choice out of the lot. And we hope that you will make.
the best choice comes September 21, 2024, the date for a dual state governorship election as fixed by Independent National Electoral Commission. And it can also be thanks to Dr. Mary Dele Alile, National Thank Chairman you. Thank you. of the uh, National Woman Leader of the APC. Thank you for Thank your time. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, so you much. for having me. So, hope uh, some other time we can have you here again. Yes, of course. All right. Of course, Thank you. Of course. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr.